Hi, greetings all, and welcome back to Globus Gaming Channel. I've got another T29 replay for you now, this time driven by T Demon. Um, I don't think I've ever featured one of T Demon's replays. I might have done. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I have. He's one of the more long in the tooth kind of players we've got in the clan. He's played 19k games. Um, and he's got a reasonable WNA and a reasonable win rate. He's, he's not a bad player. Um, and he's in a T29. <laughs> this will be a recipe for shenanigans. Now, me personally, this map, I do actually quite like this map. Alright, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's get this show on the road. Tundra is one of my... Or... Let's put it this way. It's one of the maps that I just think, okay, fair enough, we can have a good game on this one. It's not one of my favourite maps, but it is a good map. Now, for me, there is only at the moment two places you can go in a T29. You've got the hill on the 9-0 line down here, and you've got the 1 line. Now, the 1 line for me, is the place to go in a T29, if you are top to mid-tier. If you're bottom tier, not so much, but you can still troll with this turret. I'm just going to speed the replay up here. Um, there are some awesome locations to get yourself hauled down. Now, the entire platoon, we've got Qed, Quojin, and Maximat with us. Maximat's in a Black Prince, Q's in an AMX M4. I think he's grinding towards the um, AMX 5100 for competitive play, which is cool. I'm glad he's doing it, because I don't want to. <laughs> um... And we meet another AMX M445, which, to be honest with you, that tank here, well, questionable choice. We managed to track him. Right, the platoon just take this guy apart. Rapid firing, Black Prince, punchy M445. Bang. Yeah, just thanks for coming, M4. His fate was sealed. All right, Maximum manages to claim the kill for the platoon. Okay, so now, moving on then. These are your hull-down positions, guys. If you can take this rock, then this area in front here, you can get yourself nicely hull down from these guys. And also, there's a nice ridge to protect you up there as well. Oh, yeah, weak spot on the T-150. No problem. No problem. And then there's a Panzer 38T. T Demon. Oh, Bound you, in a video I did say we need to make these guys' lives as hideous as possible. So yeah, NA drivers, those that you've been through that tank, know what I'm talking about. I went through that tank, it was one of my first tanks that I bought in the game. And I hated every single second of being in that vehicle. I probably may rebuy it and just see what it's like now, now that I know how to play the game. But, no I'm not, fuck it, I'm never going to buy that tank again. It's just not very good. I don't know what they've done the matchmaking with it now, does it now only get two tanks above and below? I think it does now, I don't think it gets scout matchmaking anymore because since they changed the light tank. Maximat claims another kill then, we've pretty much won this flank effectively. And with a bit of focus fire and platoon work here, we managed to take down this Tiger P. Boom, top of the turret. Now, Max decides to make a move here. Now, this is something that in platoons we've been working on. This guy's pinned, okay? Max has the armor, all right? The whole armor, at least. So what he's done, he's moved out. He's basically waving a flag saying, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Because what we don't want him to do, we don't, we don't want this Tiger P to do, is to kill Q. So the person with the most health, or the higher health, goes forward and plays a distraction game. I'll leave it in my camera view. There we go. So now the Tiger P is focused on the easiest kill. What he's not doing is prioritizing his target. That Tiger P should be shooting Q, who's just sat there, oh, la, 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 just sat there going, just wrecking up the damage, and he's still shooting the Black Prince. Now, what we've been working on in team games and competitive way, which is the difference between us and randoms, is I would have been shooting the M4. Black Prince, yes, is a threat, but if you can take one of the enemy's guns out of the game, i.e. the M4, it puts you at an advantage. So, what do you think on that? What do you think about that? Is that something you guys have been practicing, or is it something you guys you find is interesting? I mean, if it is, we can do some videos on it, um, because we do this quite a lot when we're doing team games. I've got some stronghold footage as well that I can show you things about, um, you know, prioritization of targets, taking guns out, because having guns alive is the critical thing in this game. You know, you can be on one health and still get a top gun medal. Um, but if you're dead, you can't ever get a top gun medal. Speaking of top gun medals, this game is one of those where if you were a certain person, uh, the enemy IS, I'm going to name him, all right, Akisan from the Hack-L clan. I wholeheartedly feel for you in this game, my friend. Um, just check the end result of this game out. So what we're doing now, we've taken our flank, and like I said in the previous T29 video, we've got two choices. We can either consolidate, or we can push to their cap. Well, they're already in our cap, so that's that's that question answered. All right, we have to go back and we have to defend. And basically, Akisan 
He's absolutely reaping a freaking harvest here. In the last half a, half a minute, he's basically racked up another further three kills. Uh, and he's about to get his top gun. All right. He does get awarded his top gun badge. And Q's getting absolutely beaten up by the Stug. Manages to take him out. Unfortunately, Q lost too much health in the early stages of the game. Um, he's not really in a position where he can be that aggressive. We managed to nail that Churchill one. Um, if they've got tanks up on the hill, we've got problems here. Uh, but Black, um, the Black Prince needs help with this Nas Horn. Can we provide some help with him? No, we miss our shot. Now, what T does here, he basically says, right, I can't help you anymore, mate. I've got to do this. Now, one of the main reasons for wanting to show you this replay is what happens in the next minute or two. All right. He's trying to think about helping him, but he can't. So he needs to concentrate his affairs on the T-43. Thankfully, gives him a shot and... Can we get him? Can we get him? He's going to kill Q. Can we get him? Yes. Okay, so Akisan's got his top gun. We're on four kills. And we're defending the cap. All right, and there he is. Unfortunately, he gets the drop on Q, manages to take him out. So the IS on a one shot, backing off. But the thing is, he's got friends. Now, this is the issue. Donk's his first shot, not a problem. T 34 1 in the distance. Are we going to take a hit? Yep, we took a hit. No problems. Take out the guy at the distance. Why was that important? Well, it's a gun out of the game. Akisan comes back. We angle. Get ourselves reasonably hauled down. Akisan donks his shot. Now, it's at this point we've got problems. All right, this Tiger P is coming for us. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to leave it in my camera view. You're in the late stages of the game. Your oppo is miles away. Okay, he's no help to us at all. That's not any mistake he made. He was dealing with an asshorn. Okay, not a problem. But he's miles away. You're on your own and you've got two tanks. These guys, if they work together, could easily take this guy out. The IS has already taken uh, seven kills. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. So we've got problems. Now, this is where P really does shine. Target priority and also angling. Now, what he does here, he angles to both tanks. He still hold down to the IS, kind of. All right, so the IS has to move out. And he keeps jinking and moving and keeping himself angled to both. He stops and takes his shot. The IS shoots his turret, was aiming for the sides. Okay, He still jinks, he keeps moving all the time, and he keeps himself angled to try and angle himself to both vehicles. He tries to optimize the turret angle to both tanks. The cheeks of this tank are really, really strong. The side isn't, but the cheeks are. And he sort of angled his hull. Akisan's there, he's sort of angled. It's not ideal, but he's more than angled to the Tiger P. Donks a shot in the Tiger P, not a problem. Angles himself a little bit more, shuffles around. Goes to take out Akisan, decides Akisan's not a, pro not a priority. Well, he is a priority, he just can't get him. And he manages to take out the Tiger P, and Akisan and turns his turret just in the nick of time. All right, in order to um, take... And now this guy's fucked. There's nothing he can do. All right, seven kills. Akisan, I feel for your son. All right, that was a seven-kill game, and you managed to get uh, knocked out. Now, if you saw that... In Apologies about that last part of the video, guys. I did get a little bit trigger happy with the cancel recording. Now, what I was trying to say there was the um, the guy at the end says that they were fucking camper noobs. Uh, or camper idiots. <coughs> but they didn't. What they did is reacted and didn't let you win, son. <coughs> anyway, I digress. So, mastery badge game, top gun. Yeah, definitely. Seven kills. Yeah, we're tishing out the pain. Um, I assume you got a plethora of other badges as well, T. Top score, then. Yeah, 1,383. Now, I don't know if these games are done on the same week, but that is a mastery badge. Hmm. Some weeks it's 17, some weeks it's 1,300. Well, basically what a mastery badge means, guys, is you are 99, you're in the top 1% of experience earned for that week. All right, so if this game was done on, when was it done? 11th done on a Friday. Yeah, that's still, eh, people aren't playing T29s. Ugh, only 2,700 damage. Well, on the previous video, he needed 5,000. All right, but the thing to highlight about this video is they managed to get 11 kills between them. All right, they kill over two-thirds of the enemy team. Happy days are here again. Yeah, T29, very, very strong vehicle. My favorite tier, uh, my favorite um, heavy in the game. And also, I think, personally, like I said before, best pound-for-pound -pound tank in the game. Let me know what you think. Yeah, what do you think of those replays? Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.